What's up, Wayne Brown here with DarkFakes.net, and we are once again inside of Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. And if you follow followed my previous lessons, lessons one, two, and three, um, we found out how to take information from a form and uh, submit it into our um, our server side back, and then have that information sent back to us. Uh, in a response dot right and then in our last lesson was using cookies and so in this lesson we're going to get into a little bit more advanced and we're going to jump in and we're going to start doing uh, some database work so let's go ahead and jump into it uh, first one here lesson four is going to be access database lesson five is going to be SQL server database so let's go ahead and do the uh, lesson four with access database and as before let's go ahead and create a new website and we want it to be an empty one and let's go ahead and browse into the location we want to save our file to and want to save it there and so let's go ahead and create a new one and we're going to give it a new, new one I reckon that'll be a good one good as anything and then let's come over here and let's create a new file to add into our page and we want to have this as a web form okay and just as before this is basically the way it starts off we've got a form here and a div and so the only thing that we're going to add here from our toolbox is a button double click and add our button in there and we're going to create a um an order list and let's do um uh, let's go here and create a label and then let's copy that and now what we're going to do here is that this is going to be our username and this is going to be our password okay then we come over here and we type in input type text name username okay and now let's copy this bring it down change this right here to password and change this to password as well okay all right so now this is basically what it looks like uh, in this lesson I'm not going to go in and mess around with the form this is basically about taking the information from the form and putting it in the database and one of the later lessons I'm going to go in and show you how to make this form look nice pretty beautiful however you want to do it and so anyway so uh, let's go ahead and save our project so now next thing we want to do is we want to go in and create a database and so um, I'm using uh, access uh, 2013 you can use any version of access to do this with it doesn't really matter so let's go over here to new one and we're going to change this to the 2000 format this is going to be my data okay click on OK and then click on create okay it's, you should have something similar to this depending on which version that you're using 2003 on up should automatically look like this so just right click and choose uh, design view and we want our table name to be called user TD okay and now UID username and we're going to leave this a short text and then password is going to be left at short text as well so then we cl uh, save this and that's all that we need for this database come over here and uh, well there's going to be an error so we'll just worry about that error here in a minute so let's get back over here to our uh, da -da 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 -da. I'll forget it anyway so now what we want to do here is that we want to uh, take the information from our username and our password field and we want to bring it in over here and so what we want to do is that first we want to get a hold of our information so let's go ahead and do string username as string equals request dot form and this is going to be our username and to save time copy and paste change this to password and change this to password as well 
Okay, now let's go down here and let's do dim. Okay, so let's do object connection as OLE DB connection equals nothing. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump down to the bottom one and OLDB connection and we're getting this let's go ahead and add let's import some items so we need to import system and then we go down we do import again and we want to do system dot data and then imports and let's do system dot data dot o l e d b and that right there automatically gets rid of the squiggly line up underneath here because we needed to import this information in order to get this okay and so our next thing that we want to write out is dim obj cmd as ole db command equals nothing okay and now the next line is going to be dim string sql as whoops as string okay and now let's go down to dim db con as ole db connection equals nothing and then let's come down here now what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to actually create our uh, connection to our database and so we come down and we do db connection equals new ole db connection and let's get back up here and now let's type out the following provider equals Microsoft dot jet dot OLE DB dot four point O semicolon data source equals and now on this one we go and whoops now and server dot map path and then the name of our database which is what did we name our database Ah, my data so we do M my data okay and so this is our DB connection okay then we create a new OLEDB -E connection for our provider Microsoft jet OLEDB.4.0 data source is a server map path my data okay if you was to put your uh, database inside of a folder then you would do it something like this right here okay but since we've got it directly inside of the main folder this is all that we write and so the next thing that we got to do here is click right there db connection dot open okay and this right here will open up our connection so that we can actually use our database so the next thing we do here is do string sql equals let's do insert into my data values and then we're going to end it right there okay so we want to insert username and password and question comma question okay 
So that right there is going to insert data into the username and password with the information that we passed to it. And so now we do objcmd dot parameters dot add. Okay, and now we do new system dot data dot ole db dot ole db connection and then we do at username comma string username and then end it okay and so we have a problem so let's find out what our problem is okay we got new system dot data dot ole db dot ole db connection and that's at username and everything seems to be okay be right back okay it took me a second to catch on to what was going on here and what it is is the OLEDB connection needs to be OLDB parameter instead. And so with that done, it says it gets rid of our error. But we also forgot something here, V-A-L-U-E-S as well. And we also need to do OBJ command equals new OLEDB command and then we do string sql and then cmd oops sorry db connection okay so that sets up our object with our command to our our sql right here and our database connection so let's come over here let's copy paste this let's change this to password spell it correctly first and then come here and do PW okay so that will grab a hold of our string username and our string password and then we come down to this area and we do obj cmd dot execute non query and then we come down to the bottom and we want to make sure that we close our connection. So let's come down and do db connection dot close. And then we want to do a response dot write. And then we're going to say um, entered successfully. Okay. And so with all this information here, as long as things go right, we should be able to insert the information from our form into our database. So let's come over here and let's go over to debug, which is F5 or debug and press start debugging. And let's click OK on this. Bring our window down to here. All right, so we got that far. So now let's come over here and let's type in uh, username and password. Click on button, and it looks like we got ourselves an error. <clears throat> it says could not find G V S lessons new one my data. So, I need to change this and add MDB to the end of it. And let's go ahead and continue. And now it's giving us this error. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then let's type in username, password. Uh, 
Okay, let's go ahead and change out of that and let's stop our debugging. And then let's start debugging once again. Okay, username, password, hit our button, and okay, could not use file already in use. Okay, if you ever run into this error while dealing with an access database, uh, an, a new access database that you've just created, what that means is that uh, it has not let loose of its temp file. Its temp file. And so what you do is that with the, see this is our database that we just created and as you can see it's still open. So what you do is that you come down here and you choose close. Once you close out the database then you're able to come over here and open it back up again and then you can access this database again. So then we come here and then we click on, oops, let's bring open Visual Studio. So let's come over here and let's continue and then let's stop debugging and then let's come over to our file and type in password. Okay, now we got a syntax error in, uh, for our in sort into statement and so let's take a look at this let's see if we can't figure out what's going on and so we've got username and password which is being sent over to our uh, file right here which is username and password and that's string username and string password and so what we need to do here is that we got to find out why it is not executing properly or inserting the data into our database Okay, with Access Database, uh, you have, well, just like SQL Server as well, you have uh, what's considered to be uh, protected words. And in Access Database, password is a protected word. So what we got to do here is that we've got to go in here and add brackets around our password in order to be able to use it. And so let's come over here and then we can go back into our form, hit enter, and then it's saying cannot find output table my data. And so, whoa. Okay, let's come back over here, and it's supposed to be user TD, so let's change that to user TD. Okay, now load it once more username, password, entered successfully. So now if we come over here and we open up our database, we've got username and password word. So anyway, that is how we insert data. So first you got to get past all of your bugs and open up the right thing here. You got to get past all of your, your bugs that you run into. And once you get past all of your bugs, then you're able to insert the data successfully. So remember, if you're going to be working around with Access Database, you gotta watch out for your reserved words. If you hit a reserved word, adding your brackets on each side of your reserved word will allow you to continue to insert data into the database. And so, all right, uh, this right here is lesson four of our Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 VB.NET lessons and uh, so the next one that we're going to be doing will be lesson five is going to be inserting data into a sql server database all right y'all have a good one bye bye